Okay, y'all, I apologize in advance because this is going to be like so, so, so straight to the point. If you see my other prior three videos, you will know why. It's almost Christmas. It's almost New Year's. It's 948 New Year's Eve, and I need to go in and spend time with my family. But I've been trying to get these, this um, haul up, this small, 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 small. But I've been trying to get this video up and done for a while now. And, um, yeah. I, it's just, I met, as you can see, I made a hotel, I made the embassy suites, and the internet connection sucks, and it's just like buffering or whatever, but anyway, I'm not going to ramble too long again, I'm just going to go straight to the point. Um, I hope 2016 is going to be a good year for me, I said I was going to ramble, but I woke up and I broke my other phone, which is a blessing in disguise, because I want to get rid of it anyway, so I had to go. That took time out for me sitting on the Wi-Fi to upload the videos because I had to go get another phone. And so speaking of phones, that's part of, okay, anyway, I had to get another phone, broke my eyeglasses, which I have several pair, but I broke my glasses and it just, whoo, New Year's Eve, y'all. So anyway, um, got this hat from a, a local restaurant we just ate at, but anyway, just long awaited. I know you guys want to know what was in this bag that I showed. Um, a couple of, maybe a couple of days ago, whatever. Calm down. Uh, yeah, showed this a couple of days ago as part of my house. So I have two houses up already. Broken into pieces, bath and body works, and just some other ramble crap, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And I had a chance to finally go shopping the day after Christmas to go get what I wanted. So without all of that rambling, let me just get straight into it. So as I said before, I broke my phone this morning. A big giant candle that I record on, as my setup, it fell over on the phone. I'm like, okay, damn. I'm like, shit, it didn't even crack. Because I'm like, okay, I hope it cracked it because I want a new phone anyway. So when I opened the phone up, it was it was doing all of that. It, it was no good. So my husband was like, I told you we need to go to another company. So that's the, that's the sign. So, yeah, switch companies and got team. Da, 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 team iPhone. Yeah, I got the iPhone 6S Plus and the rose gold. And this is the case that we had to walk out of. Well, we didn't have to. We walked, we walked out of the store with this case and the front protector just in case, you know, something happened because it's slippery as hell. So, yeah, surprise my baby girl. So, all three of us, team iPhone 6S Plus. And my husband keep this shirt on, but this how it's supposed to be. So, that's my, my iPhone I didn't want it at first because I had I had a Galaxy Maker 2. And the screen was big, but it was a piece of crap phone. It was just doing what it wanted to do. It wouldn't let me take pictures sometimes. You guys know I take pictures with my phone for nails. And it was just a hassle. And it was a brand new phone, but it just wouldn't work good. So I'm used to big stuff. And the, the screen on this is not as big as the other one. But I tell you, the picture quality on this is excellent. It's fast because the um the yeah the other uh, galaxy and it just wasn't me it was just it was me and my, my daughter and my husband just slow 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 but anyway we all switched over to iPhone so anyway so I got that and before I forget the bag is somewhere else but I went and got me another wine glass believe it or not all of the wine glass I showed you guys over time they're all broken. Either somebody put them in the, micro, in the dishwasher when it's not supposed to be, or I accidentally broke it, or they broke it. But all of my wine glasses are broken, so I went to this store, Z Gallery. I don't want to get up, cause I don't know where the bag is at, but I went to yeah, Z, Z Gallery. I'm, I'm going to remember, if I remember, I'm going to put it in the description box. I just got another little wine glass, it was on sale, it was like nine bucks. But yeah, long stem. Gallery. It's not my scandal glass because I broke that one. So anyway, I just picked it up really fast. But anyway, forget all of that. What the fuck is in that Louis Vuitton bag? So anyway, I wanted to treat myself to Louis Vuitton. I spent all day this past Sunday. This really quick. I spent all day Sunday just researching stuff like I always do with nails. I'm like, why am I buying this stuff? Like, who are these people? So I, I already knew about Louis Vuitton, but I really, um, really researched other people like Tory Burch and Gucci and stuff like that to see, you know, just to, you know, remind myself of the background of the companies and stuff. And one thing I'm proud to say is that Louis Vuitton, Louis, Louis Vuitton 
does keep its um the value. You know, if anything happens, you want to sell it or whatever, you can get almost all your money back with a new baton bag. With the coach and all the other stuff, you you just you know you're not going to be able to sell it for much. But anyway, let me start rambling. Um, like I just said, went to the um Galleria here in Houston, Texas, the day after Christmas. Just wanted to buy some stuff. So I went to Gucci. Well, first I went to Louis Vuitton. I wanted ever since Miss Diva like, hey Miss Diva like, girl, you know, I, you know I love you. I love everything about her. Y'all know Miss Diva like. Ever since she showed her key, I think Louis Vuitton called him Key Clay, the little key zip thingy, whatever. I wanted one, so I went to get it. I went to purchase one. They didn't have it in the MoneyGram print. They only had it in the I'm not gonna even mess the name up, but they had it in the uh, I'm sorry, they had it in the other print. I can't think right now, honestly. I've been researching all weekend the names and stuff, but I can't think right now. But it wasn't in the MoneyGram print, which is the original like Louboutin print. I didn't want want that one, so I went to Gucci. And you know how folks on YouTube, well, I'm just gonna just show the little quick little paperwork and all this stuff right there, the service teeth and stuff, Gucci. And I picked up this. Making sure I'm still recording. So I just went and picked up this because again, I just wanted something. I wanted a little key um, case. So I got this one from Gucci. And I don't know if I'm going to use it as a key case. I don't know if I'm going to have my keys hanging on it and have this hanging on it because I'm roughing my keys. They are thrown every which way. I think I think I might use it because of how wide it opens up. I think I might just use it to replace just my purses here. I think I might use it to replace my um the little coach thingy which is as you can see dirty and stuff full of extra cards and credit cards and stuff in here i think i might replace it and put all of my cards in here that's what i might do with it so yeah that's what i'm thinking of doing with it so yeah i got that from the um gucci store just to you know just to be buying something and you know you want to see where your money goes instead of but anyway Got that from the Gucci store. Went to, um, I mean, when I tell y'all, this is basically, I got this and two, and one more thing to show you guys a little bit. But anyway, went to the Tory Burch store because I don't have anything in Tory Burch. And I'm like, okay, why everybody on this Terry Burch, you know, Terry Burch, Terry Burch, whatever her name is. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm Googling her too. I'm like, okay, I don't feel any excitement. I don't feel a warm, tiggy feeling inside. It's like, okay, what am I buying it for? I'm researching her, you know. I'm on Wikipedia, Wy whatever you call it, trying to figure out who she is. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. Walking out of the mall, going to my car, and there was a long line at the toy brush store. I'm like, okay, okay, let me get in this line. And I'm looking around, and I'm asking two other ladies. I'm like, excuse me, why am I in this line? Like, what's going on? Is it a good sale? Like, what's going on? They're like, I don't know. We just in the line to see what's going on. So I finally got to the beginning of the line. They only let two people in. And I got in, and I'm like, okay, my heart still ain't palpitating. I'm like, okay, what, what what am I in here for? And I got, you know, looking around, walk, walking around, looking around, and I'm listening. People was basically returning shit. Oh, these boots are too little. She don't want people was returning boots and stuff and whatever. So, yeah, toy birds, just to see what all the hoopla is. And I don't see what all the hoopla is. But anyway, we see. Went in just to be, just to be buying what's on sale. I'm like, okay, what's on sale? First thing out of my mouth was on sale. And the only thing I found on sale that I really can use is this Tory Burch clutch thing. Not the clutch, but like the little key case again. Like the like the little Gucci one. And it's so fucking tiny. It's, you know, you when you unzip it, you know, it's like, okay, this all of the room you have. Yeah, you see that? Not like the Gucci one. So I'm like, okay, what can I put in here? There's some folded up um, bills. No money, so I would probably just use this. I would probably use this as a key clay or key case or whatever, put on the end of my keys, or just honestly just have it hanging off my bag as a bag charm. 
I don't know. It was on sale for like, I paid 60 something dollars for it. It was like a hundred bucks. Yeah. And you know, it has a back pocket. And just that small, small, small opening. So yeah, I just got it. Just to be buying something, you know. So yeah, I probably use it as a charm on my press or whatever. So that's it. And the last thing y'all be waiting on to see was in this little baton bag. It came, of course, boxed up with the little ribbon and stuff. And I took it out several times, looking at it, flipping it over, studying it. And I got warm and tingly over this. So, yeah, this is an item that you really want to have in your closet when you get to the point where I'm at, where you just like, okay, well, I basically have everything I want. Like, okay, what can I buy next? You know, so you just start buying high-end items or whatever you can pass it on to your, your daughter or... You know, just to have. So anyway, I'm not going to go through all the drama and stuff. It's a receipt. You can Google it for yourself. But um, what's inside of here is this. And I've also been also researching all Sunday on how to store this stuff. On how to store it and proper, you know, how to store it. So I did, we did my closet to store my items. But basically, this is what I have. Just the toiletry case. This is the toiletry case 26. I, like I said, I've been researching the items and I had it in my wish list on, this how big it is. I had it on my wish list. I had the 19. So I went to the store. He didn't have the 19. He had um, this one. And for a couple of more dollars, you can might as well just get this one because the, the toiletry case 19 was like, half of this if I'm not mistaken like right here then it's like come here and I'm like no you know for a couple of more dollars I might would just get the big one so I already knew by research and stuff people use it as a clutch so that's why I'm going to use it as a clutch so it's just this little handle here I mean nothing to no cross bottle or anything it's just a toiletry case and I like it because again you can you know put it on your arm as a clutch you saw my review on my speedy which is not a bag I really don't care for but I got this because also the inside is washable as you can see you know the material you can you know wipe it clean if you get makeup or whatever on it but this is what it's for it's for toiletry items like I don't know pads makeup perfumes whatever and you can wash it out but again it looks like well not look like but this holds so much so much more than my um my pochette you know crossbody i'm going to use this like i just said as a clutch i'm going to use it as a clutch no hang it i'm not i don't want to stand up but no use it as a clutch it's really as you can see it's, it's real big you can notice it and also when i told my delightful i can put this inside of my delightful and put stuff in here and this, as you can see, it'll fit. And then when I go to the store, whatever, I don't want to tote a big shoulder bag. I can just put whatever I want to put in here and go to the store and shop and put it under my arm and I have to and still be hands-free. So, yeah, that's what was in the Louis Vuitton bag I showed a couple of weeks ago. And you also, I know you guys is wondering, you know, I had put on my Instagram also, what should I get, another Louis Vuitton bag or furniture? Louis Vuitton bag or furniture? Of course you want your house to be up to date you want your house to be nice make sure i'm still recording you want your house to be on point and i don't like to come on and talk about stuff in, in advance until i know for sure that i got it but i got both i got this and i did order a new bed yeah i ordered a new bed and i ordered some new bar stools for my house and it's paid for i'm just and i'm Saying this for a reason, it's paid for cash money, it's paid for because I'm using a discount of a family member, which I can do. But it's taking longer than I thought it would take for them to like, okay, corporate has to approve it. And I'm like, okay, uh, you know, you sure I can get this shit? You know, I mean, it's legal, you know, you sure I can get it? And yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, you, you can get it, you know, I can, you can get it. So it's paid for, but I did buy a bed. I'm so excited. I don't want to show you guys on 